everybody this is Connie and um, I'm here with another get ready with you I do these every Sunday I don't know when um, this will be uploaded because I think I mean I've got stuff uploaded for weeks <laughs> so stuff scheduled for weeks uh, I only want to do three to four um, videos a week and I mass film on Sundays on my one day off and I don't know how many I'm going to do today because it is very warm in this room. I've got the fan going on high, but it is not cutting it. Plus, I have a black shirt. <laughs> I am wearing um, the necklace that I got from, that all kinds of us got from, um, I think it was last, was it Winter's box? I think. Um, anyway, this is the first time I've had it on because everybody else wore them like crazy at first and now they're kind of, you know, not quite as big of a novelty. So I thought it would go great with this black top. You know, I was kind of looking for a necklace and I thought that one's perfect for this top. So it's beautiful. Um, it's not as heavy as you would think. It's a very nice necklace. I love it, actually. Um, Bethany Moda, maybe? Was it her box? I don't know. Anyway, um, to save a little time, I've already used my primer. And what I used was the Amazing Cosmetics Anti-Aging Face Primer Sample that I got in um, my last Ulta haul. And I tell you what, there's about a drop in this thing. Seriously. They could have used you know, a little tiny corner of this to, instead of using this whole big sample, you know, to, to fool you into thinking that there was quite a sample in there. There wasn't. There was like two drops in there, enough for my, enough for my face. It is very greasy um, feeling, very greasy. Just uh, like you put olive oil on your fingers. That's exactly what it feels like. So I would not buy this because I don't like that feeling. So anyway, my primer is done. I'm going to put this over here. And I, I'm going to use my um, Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation uh, in 15 Ivory today. This is, uh, the writing's too small, but there it is. And let's just get right to this because you know it takes me a while. Going to use my favorite brush again. Just going to put a couple of drops on this and see how this works with this brush. And I am using my mirror. This ivory, um, I do not tan. I just. Um, don't go out in the sun. When I'm out in the sun is very little, actually. Um, I don't have anybody to go to the lake with or, you know, do anything like that with. Um, if, I, if I go for a walk, which isn't as often as I'd like, I, um, because my, because of my darn back, it's usually at night. So, it's get it's starting to get dark, or the, you know the sun's rays aren't as dark, aren't as strong at night. Okay, one more drop for my forehead. Yeah, this foundation works just fine on my, with this brush. It is a little dark for me. I need light ivory to fair. It looks like I'm a little tan with this on, actually. Um, all right, that's it for that. Okay, and today I am going for my brows. I am going to try my um, brand new 
that I got at Ulta last time. Uh, Too Faced Brow Quickie. It is... I hate it when they use gold on brown. It's hard to read. Brush on Brow Fiber Cream and Universal Taupe. And I have not um, tried this at all. So this is going to be a first for me. Let's see here. Just trying to get so you guys can see me and I can see me. Okay. And this is what it looks like. All right. Let's do this. Boy, it's very light. Let's see, where's my brush? I have got one eye, eyebrow or um, deal there that likes to stick straight up. Well, wouldn't you know, leave it to me. This was over $20, and I got the wrong color. This is too light for me. Um, actually, you know, it's okay. It matches the, really matches the color of my eyebrows very well. But, um, boy, I tell you what, you have to work at it to make it look like you're doing anything, to tell you the truth. I have not watched any other tutorial or any other hauls of this stuff or people that have, you know, um, that have reviewed it or anything like that. Really not seeing where it's adding anything to my brows either, to tell you the truth. Um, I'm going to use it this week in my getting ready or making it work series though so maybe by the end of the week I will have the hang of it more see it's really really light and I kind of used two coats on the other eye so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use another coat on this one I just like to fill in this area here just a little bit more because that is where um, one of my scars is and so my eyebrow is really mis misshapen right there. <sighs> you know, it's okay. It, um, I'll make it work. Uh, but, um, it's just that I was getting used to the other stuff that looks different than this stuff does. This is just really light. But, like I said, I'll make it work. Okay, so I'm going to use my Ulta Eye Primer. That seems to go on and on and on. <laughs> Whoops. Put it over there so I can take a picture of it before I put it in next week's stuff. I'm going to use, next week, I'm going to use two palettes. Because they are smaller palettes. I cannot figure out how to make six eye looks out of it, so... I'm going to use two different palettes. And they're like half size palettes from what I usually use. So, And I made an Ulta order. Um, ordered something that I'm very excited about getting. And I made an Urban Decay order. I ordered something for a giveaway and something maybe for a giveaway or maybe for me. I have to look at it first to see if, you know, the more I think about it, the more I think I might want that. So I am going to use, um, in my Get Making It Work series, one week I used 
the CoverGirl um, True Naked Roses and the Goldens palette. I have not used the um, nudes yet, so I'm going to use that today. Let's see. A couple different brushes out here. And I am going to start by using this color here all over as a base. Okay, I'll clean my brush off here. And I'm going to use um, I'm going to try this one for my transition. If I don't think it's dark enough, I'm going to go to this one. This will work fine. Then I go up just a little bit farther because if it's right in my transition or right in my crease, you don't see it because of my hooded eyes. So I like to go a little above my crease then. You know, it's not real dark, but it'll work. I don't have quite as much eyebrow above. Okay, clean my brush off again. I love my little brush cleaner. This here. I love it. It really cleans the brushes, and you would not believe the product I have. I clean it out every week and wash the sponge, or the Brillo patty part and um, you would not believe the product I have in the bottom of it. Okay, so I am going to start with I'm going to use this in the middle or in the inside half of my eye and this on the outer half. Okay, I'm going to go in my crease brush again, or another, a clean crease brush, and go up above, and then just kind of sweep across.
All right. Powder fall out. Okay, I'll do my... Okay, so what I did was I used this for my base, um, this for my crease, and I used this one and this one on my lid. All right. Let's do my, I'm going to use my 24-7, my Urban Decay, my liner. I have an eyelash somewhere. Ow. I blink all the dang time when I'm doing that. <laughs> so much harder for me to do the inner part of my eye than the outer part. All right. I still have a hair somewhere. <laughs> if, if it wasn't for disasters, what would I do? <laughs> All right. So um, I am going to use my Lash Blast um, by CoverGirl. And I'm going to use this the rest of the week also. I think. We'll see after today. Oh, God. That irritates me when I do that. Makes my eyelashes look pretty good, actually. So tomorrow, I work my normal day, and then I am switching to, so far, um, we had a guy that is pretty sick at work, an older guy that works, and um, he just had brain surgery this last week so he probably won't be back to work so they hired plus they had somebody walk out of or never even show up last weekend at the casino that he owns and she worked um, like 38 hours a week so I get those hours well part of them I'm gonna work Tuesdays 10 to 10 and Wednesdays 10 to 4 which um, is fine with me. I do not mind that one bit. And um, I'm going to use my Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer in, I swear I have got a hair somewhere, in Fair. Anyway, so I'm going to work those two days. Um, he hired somebody else, and I could have told him this guy that he hired is a loser. I worked with his wife at the pet plant, and I bet you this guy has had um, a dozen jobs the last year. He is, he doesn't want to work. And it's always somebody else's fault if he gets fired or he quits his job. 
I do not like this um, brush thing. First of all, it almost feels I'm afraid to squeeze too hard because I'm afraid it's all going to come kicking out of there, you know. So anyway, he's going to work my Tuesdays and Thursdays at the bar. Tuesdays and Wednesdays at the bar. And I'm going to work at the casino, um, you know, to see how it works out. Which I'm happy, I'm kind of happy about because, um, first of all, it's two and a half dollars more than I make an hour here at the bar. But I won't have, you know, the tips either probably. I don't know. It depends on, you know, if there's guys that win big or something, you know, who knows. Um... You can tell the color difference on those two, which is the thing that I don't like. Okay, and so I guess we're going to see how it works. This guy, I'm really afraid it's not going to work, and then they're going to put me back to the bar, which is okay. It's just that, you know, um, I want to be where I can make more money. And it's two different businesses, and even though I'm going to be working like 44 hours a week, like I said, it's two different businesses. So it's... So I won't get overtime pay. Even though it's the same owner. I just used my Laura Geller... Um, ethereal rose and a sateen subtle berry blush and it looks like this and I just do the two together so pretty I hope that I don't you know to me looking in the mirror it doesn't look too dark but I'm really hoping it doesn't look too dark on the for you guys you know looking at the deal. Okay, and then I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Powder and this is Catwalk Pink number 345 and it looks like this and I'm going to use the lighter shades. I'm just going to go in on both of those Wow That is really pretty. And that is also, I don't know, that's not what I'm wearing this week. Okay. So for lipstick, oh, I'm going to use my, my powder, too. Today, I have not used my powder in a while. Because um, I always forget. So I'm going to use my Rimmel Stay Matte. And this is in Buff Beige. Wow, can you see that glow? That's really pretty. Alright. So for I'm lipstick, the um, Too Faced Melted Lipstick in... Melted Berry. Looks like this. So pretty. That is my luck for today. 
<laughs> I will see you in my next video. And thanks for sticking with me through goofs and through bloopers and through whatever. I appreciate that. Thumbs up if you like this kind of stuff. Bye-bye.